This video is sponsored by Avail. With the driver demand at an all-time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. So, this, in theory, in theory, is the last video I will be making. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. How are you doing? You good? I don't know if it's a bit dark in here or not. Let me uh, turn on some lights. That one, that's the one. Just in case it's a little bit dark. Um, how are you? Are you doing well? Are you good? Good. <laughs> um, we are in the uh, Mercedes Actros mirrorless truck once again. Um, and we're gonna vlog today and then I'm gonna do another vlog in it tomorrow, I think. Get three vlogs out of it. Why not? I do like this truck, I really do like this truck. Anyway, we are today in Chalmersford. In fact, we are literally right next to where we're gonna be delivering. We're gonna get over into the second lane, because at the roundabout coming up, we wanna bear right, well, we wanna turn right on ourselves, pretty much. So we're delivering to Chandler's Building Supplies. First thing this morning, we've got 50 bolt bags, five, zero. And um, they're normally pretty quick in here, actually. Once you're in, get your curtains undone. Normally there's like two forklifters, like, unloading you at the same time so that's uh that's normally pretty good so yeah we've got a tip here and then we got to go to Corston and in Corston we are getting loaded it'll be a self load on on a pallet truck and then we're uh taking that to Birmingham I believe like DHL I think so yes anyway there's H and H blocks there that is where we are delivering to um, we left the yard this morning about 5 a.m. and uh, it's 8 a.m. now. So yes, yeah, about three hours on the clock, just under. Let's turn that camera back on. There's like a display down here which uh, has the camera on the on the side of the on the truck facing backwards. But um, at night time, it's quite bright. You can turn the brightness down, but it's easier just to turn it off. And it turns on every time you actually indicate. That car was indicating left before he was even past the low road. <laughs> right then, let's go. Mine is the old Curberino. And then we go up here. Right, there is a truck in there. Oh, fully loaded truck by the looks of it. He's still got his straps on. Oh, we're going to be here a little while. I think we're going to be here a little while. Let's uh, get on over to the left anyway. There we go, we just stop here. Handbrake on. Yeah, that truck there has still got his straps on, look. So, and it's all over the place. That's how. That is a bit of an all sorts load, that is. That is, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna be here for 20 minutes at least, I think. Great. <laughs> anyway, I guess we'll just wait here for a little while until we can get let in. Soon a bit. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you what we're, what we're waiting for. So we're waiting for him to, actually he's doing them up. He's just ratcheting them up. Okay, let's go. Less of a wait, anyway. Here's the truck we're in. Take a photo while we're here. Yeah, this is the truck. Mirrorless. They are the cameras up there. And then it displays on that there inside. It means there's less of a blind spot here. Which is good. Anyway, I'm going to start undoing the buckles on the trailer. And uh, good news, because he's just doing them up, I think. So we'll be in a bit quicker. Right, we're tipped. Engine on. 
there is a truck which is just pulled up over there. I don't think you can see him because the pillar's in the way. He's going to have to budge back to me in a sec. Right, I just got to try and work out. This is like the level control. Level. I think that's levelling now. Yeah, I can feel it. I can feel it levelling. Oops. I keep forgetting there's a horn on the steering wheel. Oh, I just put some pressure on it. Lift axle up. I think that's up. Yeah, that's up. Uh, we're an hour and, and a half away, just over. So I'm taking this off. <coughs> Seat back on. All right. How long have we been here for? <sighs> Quite a while. So I think they're clearing room in the yard for the truck to come in so I can go out. I, I think that's what they're doing. Like, I'm ready to go, but I can't get out. Don't know if you can see. So they're moving stuff over here for the truck to come on in, go down there, and then I can then get out. I think that's what they're doing, I think. Here we go. I think the lorry's coming in now. <clears throat> and we should be able to go when he comes past. Lovely. Right, hazards off. We're gonna go left at this roundabout. Lovely, excellent day. We're out of here, let's get crack a as the top says. Check out more merchandise on Teespring dot com forward slash Luke CD3 link down in the description down below <laughs> I had some feedback saying a couple of videos ago I mentioned uh, too many adverts so I do apologize but um yeah never mind if you want a t-shirt or hoodie link down below if you want waifu link down below thanks to Tom Tom thanks for Diva Chimers thanks for Avail thanks for Tracker 24-7 thank you thank you to all the sponsors that advertise me including the Trucker's Handbook. Just want to give a quick shout out to the Essential New Trucker's Handbook by Malcolm Green. It is a book absolutely rammed with information regarding anything HUV related. Taco rules and regulations, how to strap a load, how to hitch up to a trailer, uh, and also how to even get your HUV license in the first place. Everything that you need to know is in this book. I promise you, you won't regret it. Link is in the description down below if you are interested. The Essential New Trucker's Handbook by Malcolm Green. Anyway, enjoy the video. Okie dokie, we are not too far away now from our collection in Coulston. We need to turn right at this roundabout. 4.6 metre bridge. Lovely jubbly. So yeah, with this collection, it's a, it's a self load. Uh, but it isn't a self-tip, just a self-load. Uh, we get up at the back of the trailer and pump truck it all on manually. And, uh, and then when we get to, I think it's DHL we're going to in Birmingham, I think. And um, it'll be a case of reversing onto a bay. Now that would be interesting because these Mercs do have a reputation for uh, not being able to reverse very straight in a straight line and uh, when, you, when you're going on a bay you've got to be on a straight line so we're going to uh, give it a go hopefully those lights going to change yeah 
We're just taking it nice and slowly so these lights change and we weren't blocking around about. But they've changed now and we can keep on moving. Forward thinking. So, uh, yeah. We'll get this loaded and then crack on up to Birmingham, which from here is going to be, I guess, two and a half hours, something like that. Right, where's this lorry going? I think that lorry wants to go where we're going, by the looks of it. Where are you going, mate? Where are you going? I'm going there, then there. I'm not entirely sure where that lorry's going. If that lorry stays there, it'll block the roundabout off of me. He is staying there. Lovely. Yeah, he's going into that place. Wicked. That worked out perfect because he blocked the roundabout for me. Lovely, lovely. Right, we want to go over to the left. Oh. Yeah, reversing does take some getting used to. That's for sure. But we should be about good there. Maybe forward ever so slightly. Cool, right. Engine off, take it off a brake because it goes on to brake all the time. There we go. Let's go give them our reference and uh, go get loaded. See you in a bit. Right, so here we are. We're just waiting now for. Uh, them to come out and then bring it out and put it on the back of the trailer and then i'll reverse it or not reverse it i'll put it all the way down there right we're tipped not we're not we're not tipped we're loaded that's the one <laughs> we've been here for 50 minutes five zero minutes mate mate you boy you just uh come over the paperwork i didn't have my cameras on at the time <clears throat> but he looks up at me he goes it's a nice truck just saying, that's what the public think. The public think it's a good truck. So, and I do like it. I do like it. It's very intimidating. Like, it's massive. It's, up, it's really tall. There are things I don't like about it, as, I, as there are with every truck. Like, the side lockers, I don't like how high they are. I am six foot three, and even I can't reach all the way to the back. Like, if there's something right at the back, you'd have to get a step ladder to get into it. There's no other way of reaching it. The, so that's one of the things I don't like about this truck. And also, bloody seat. Every time I jump in the truck, there's like this plastic clip on the front of the, of the, of the seat. And it's sort of like, I scrape my legs every time I get into it. It's very sharp, and I've actually, it's actually cut me open. I'm not gonna lie. That's the only thing I'll change, that and the, uh, the high lockers at the moment. The Joss, so we're going to head to Birmingham now. It's not a two hour drive like I first said, it's, uh, it's actually a three hour drive. So we're going to get our foot down. ETA there is shortly after 2 pm. Hopefully, we're only there for an hour or so. It's a bit awkward parking on a bend, guys. Hopefully, we're there for an hour or so, and then we could be back in the yard for about five o'clock where we've got to get loaded for Wrexham. And then that'll be a delivery for tomorrow. But I'm hoping, because today's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday, I'm hoping my, my brand new GoPro has come today, which would mean then tomorrow I can uh, film with my new GoPros, or at least try anyway. So this, in theory, in theory, is the last video I will be making on these GoPro Hero 5s. And I'm upgrading to GoPro Hero 10s. So yeah. 
I've heard stories that they overheat and stuff, but um, it's like after 20 minutes, and uh, yeah, they're never really on for more than 20 minutes at a time. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm just, I just say the magic word, it stops recording, turns off, and uh, yeah, then it won't overheat. Do you know what I mean? I'll turn those lights off. Because um, we are going on a bay when we get to Birmingham, I will show you the inside of this cab in a bit more detail. And uh, maybe even have a little play with some of the buttons. <laughs> right, I'll see you when we're a bit closer. See you in a bit. Okay, we are just around the corner now from where we need to be. Spitfire Park Industrial Estate, which is the next left. <clears throat> I never come from this angle last time I come here. Um, so I'm not entirely sure if I need to be in two lanes or not. So we'll take up two just to be kept, just to be safe. We shall indicate left. Yeah, we definitely need to. Lovely. And then uh, it's just on the left over here. It's a bit, last time it was a bit awkward. There was no like security gate. I had to like press a buzzer and then no one answered. Then someone walked over. So we might be waiting a while just to be let in. <laughs> See, like, there's someone coming over already. It's a bit weird. It's like there's no code to give. Yeah, you're right, mate. <clears throat> Four zero. Yeah. Cool. Cheers, mate. Yeah, yeah, it's boxes on pallets, yeah. yeah. Bay 40. Bay 40. Cheers, mate. Bay 40. Four zero. Anyway, I hope that noise stops. My seatbelt's off, but I'm on public land. Not public land, private land. We've got to try and uh, get on a bay now in one go. Bay 40. Cool. Right, I'm just going to open up my back doors quickly. I think, hopefully I can get away without wearing a suit. Um, a high vis. Let me just open the back doors. A long way down. Right. 4 zero. Let's see if we can get on a bay straight first time. This is my first reverse onto a bay with this truck. See if I can do it just looking at the mirror, nothing else. Ugh, I so want to look out my window, but I'm not. I've cooked it <laughs> too far. <laughs> I would normally look out the window, but I'm, I'm gonna do it just on the mirrors to, to, just to prove it can, can be done. Has that cooked it again? Have I done it too far? I think I have. It's too far, I need to go to the left a bit more. <laughs> Come on, we can do this. Like perception is just ever so slightly different on a mirrorless truck. Right, let's go back a bit like that, yeah, yeah. Are we too far on the right? <laughs> That's so close. I don't think I need to shunt, but I'm going to. Just to go to the left ever so slightly more. Ever so slightly more to the left. If I do that, maybe you can see the mirror. Ah, sorry, it's not a mirror, is it? The screen. Okay, right. What we... <laughs> That was a bit of a bang. What we have determined is that we do actually need to adjust that white line. Right. Hopefully that's better. Let's go and have a look. Before we get out properly, let's put a high vis on just to be safe. But I'll show you what I mean about the, the blue line. Let me get my phone out. Okay, so there's like a, there's a blue line here which is supposed to denote the back of the trailer. It's not quite in line. 
So I believe if you turn the ignition off, well, I could press the ignition button, and then using the controls down here, you can adjust the line. So that's the back of the trailer, pretty much, isn't it? We go there just to be safe. Should we go there? Yeah, we go there. That's the back of the trailer, that blue line. Lovely. Right, let's go see if we are actually straight. It did take a few attempts to get on, I must admit, but I guess that just comes with practice. The more you do it, the better you get. Yeah, so we're on the bay. We're just gonna just trying to find someone now to get a paperwork signed, but yes. The Actros is on a bay. And uh, it's not too bad, it's quite in line. There you go, so that's that side. That's that side. I had it just ever so slightly to the to the right hand side when I first went on it, that's all, so they wanted me to the left a bit more. But it was I got it straight. Happy days. Okay. I think the camera's facing the uh, the door, isn't it? So you can't see me. Maybe you can see me now. Hello. Um can you see me? I think you can see me. The sun's in my eyes. Uh there's like three or four people offloading me right now. Uh in the back of the trailer. I was watching, but I've just uh I've been very kindly asked to go away. <laughs> so, yeah, they told me to come back to the truck. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, but I won't be here for long, that's for sure. Um, like I said, there's like three or four of them. Yeah, sounds really wrong. There's like four guys inside me. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're gonna be here just a few more moments. I've already got the paperwork signed. So that's gonna go in me folder. And from here, we're going straight back to the yard to load up for uh, for Wrexham tomorrow morning. Ooh. And then tomorrow morning, I shall start another vlog, but this time, just honk the horn again. I keep honking the horn. I keep forgetting it's on the day. <laughs> All good? Cheers, mate. Should be back about like five o'clock. So, happy days. Well, that was quick. That was very quick. How long have we been here? 12 minutes. We've been stationary for 12 minutes. <laughs> it's amazing. If only every drop was like that. Right, got to go close those back doors back up. Handbrake on. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, hive is off. Sometimes I'll, I'll just leave it on because it's easier. Like if I've not got to go very far. But it's only a two hour drive and we've got to have a break, so we shall take it off. Lovely. Let's go. Also, by the way, quick side note. I'm really impressed with the fuel consumption. We are getting almost 11 miles per gallon, which is good, because on the DAF I'd get like eight. So that's amazing. Extra three miles. Okay, can we get out? That is the question. Can we get out? Hopefully the security guy's still there. And he'll open the gate for us to get out. We've got a truck queued to get in and one queued outside to get in as well. Yeah, I think you're opening the gates for me. Are you opening the gates for me? It looked like she was opening the gates for me, but the problem is there's a truck there. I can't go anywhere. I might be able to squeeze past, but the truck could do a going forward a bit. Right, the gates are opening, yes. Lovely, doubly, lovely, doubly. Let's go, 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 go. Before anyone else decides they want to turn up. Thank you. Right. See, this is a nasty left. Turn. I can't see anything on the left of me, behind me, coming. But the mirrors are quite wide and I can see quite easily. When I got to the right angle, I could see quite easily there. Okay, turn right. What's coming down? We've got a. Toyota coming down and a Honda coming down. Actually, that's another Toyota. <laughs> let's go, go, go. Anyway, let's, uh, let's head on back to the yard, plus have a break, and uh, I will see you 
when we are there. See you in a bit. Yeah. Right, we are here. Wow, <laughs> we're nearly here anyway. Just approaching the road now, where we want to go. So yeah, we're just approaching the entrance now to the yard. We need to go and get loaded for Wrexham, but there's been a change of plan. Um, one of our other trucks have broken down. This time, not me, not me. Um, which means uh, the, the guy who's driving it is gonna be rich. He's gonna be uh, driving this one tomorrow. My truck should hopefully be fixed tomorrow. That's the plan. So I've got to get this truck loaded and then strap it up, park it up, get all my stuff out and put it in my truck. And then tomorrow, I mean, my truck's being fixed over the weekend anyway, but um, the guy's going to come in tomorrow and do it tomorrow morning. And then I guess I'll take it out sort of like late morning, maybe early afternoon. Uh, apparently there's a couple of local runs in Swindon that potentially need doing. Uh, so that's what I'll do tomorrow. But the first thing we've got to do is get loaded. So let's reverse it on back. I do love these cameras, I really do. I doubt I'll drive another one of these for a while. It's a shame, I do like them. If I, uh, if I had enough money to buy one, I probably would buy one myself. Um, but, having said that, I do also like the Scania's, but I think you pay a lot of money for a Scania. Do you know what I mean? You pay for the name a bit, whereas I think this would be a bit cheaper. But the, apparently the Ivecos were very good as well. I never got to drive one, but the Iveco S-Ways were apparently very nice. Apparently. But, like I've said, I never got a chance to drive one, nor have I ever driven an Iveco, so I don't actually know what they're like. But... Come November, when we get some as a company, I'll uh, definitely have a look. And if they're good, maybe I'll look at getting one myself. Who knows? Who knows? Right, let's, uh, let's go get loaded. Right. Ugh. Truck is loaded. Truck is loaded. Um, what we've got to do now is just got to go park up around the corner and... Um, get everything out of this truck. So we're gonna go and park up sort of right like next to my truck. I'm gonna build some air up quickly. Okay. Let's go and uh, see my truck. There is a truck around here somewhere, which could be in the way. I definitely saw one come in. The Jenkinson's truck somewhere. Oh, I see it. I think it's literally where I want to park the truck in a bit. Yeah, it is literally where I want to park the truck in a bit. But we're okay for now because we just want to go park next to my truck. Which is down here. There she is. We park next to it and then we can uh, take all my stuff out of this truck put it in there lovely jubbly look at that pretty much door to door in fact it is door to door haha <laughs> that's gonna be amazing all right let's go do that okay and we are tipped not tipped why am i i keep getting tipped and like loaded mixed up we're loaded and we have swapped all our stuff over and we are now in the truck empty truck pretty much ready to go i said earlier i was going to show you around the truck and this is the only chance i'm going to get now because tomorrow i'm not in it and i was meant to do it early but they were so quick there so i'm going to show you around the truck now okay so this is what the driver sees this is the main gubbins you've got the camera over there you've got the camera over there as well this is your dash. You can change the setting. Uh, you can have it like this, or you can have it a slightly different way. Martin Trukajenko has it uh, a different way. But all your information is on there that you need to know. You can sort of, it's, it's a touchscreen device right here. You can swipe up and down, left, right, whatever you want to do. Um, trip computer will show you what you've done. So, so far this truck has done 10.7 mpg and uh, 574 kilometers, which is really good. And uh, yeah, you can obviously look at your, um, 
tachograph information if you wanted to, connect your phone to it, or navigation, call it, everything, all the good stuff. You can also set how far you are away from the vehicle in front. Uh, you can adjust all sorts of stuff with the cruise control because this truck practically drives itself. And uh, yeah, no, it's really good. And obviously you've got nice loud air horns. This one controls this side. So this is another, another thing that you can control on this screen over here via these buttons, but it is also touchscreen. So all this is, is touchscreen. You can control the lights inside and outside the truck just by pressing these buttons. So uh, we can turn them off by doing that and then swipe like that the lights turn off on the front or we can turn them on press auto lights turn on you've also got interior lights right now there's a very nice who blue who blue is that the right word so you've got all these sort of like lights at the back at the top sorry you can control this via this so you can turn them all off the blue lights have now gone or you can swipe right and the blue lights will turn back on again you can also turn all the lights on because you can turn them all individually so that one and it tells you on the screen which one is controlling. So that one controls the light up there. So you can have it off or you can have it on. And then you've got this one, which does like the main lights at the top, turn them on and off like so. You've got a reading light above the driver and also you've got a reading light and orange hue on the bunk, which is really nice as well. That looks lovely, doesn't it? Let's be honest. Um, or one of the things you can do if you want them all on nice and quickly, do that. And then all the lights turn on nice and bright awesome except that one i guess you've got to do that one manually but those orange lights look awesome so we could in theory turn all the lights off and the blue lights and just have the orange lights of an evening how cool is that oh it's cool i'm pretty sure you can control them over there as well we'll go through that in a second over there right uh also on this so like i said all this is touchscreen you do have like quick access buttons here there as well so if you wanted to go to like um your controlled your system for your air and all that and then you can do vehicle settings so you can adjust the level of your vehicle so you can also control your self level if you wanted to so if you're going under a trailer or under a trailer under a trailer you can go up or down sorry on that uh, you can set like timers and alarms and heating and uh, when your night heater turns on you can obviously view your sat nav as well that button takes to the sat nav once it loads up it comes up with like a world boom boom there we go <laughs> uh, I believe this is a TomTom -tom, uh, device. Yeah, this is TomTom. -tom. So you can sort of pick what you want. It's all um, HDV, it should be HDV. So we go to settings, vehicle dimensions. There we go, my vehicle should be set to truck and then you can set your heights on it. So you haven't got to have um, a TomTom -tom or any other device in the windscreen because it can all go here. So big shout out for that. Oh, it looks like there's uh, an accident up the road. Look, another reason why it's handy. mustn't go that way <laughs> uh, you can also um, obviously make phone calls and listen to Bluetooth and all that as well all that good stuff as well as like I said you can control it all on this dash as well so that's good anyway let's turn the lights on let's uh, get it nice and light inside booyah and, uh, let's turn the engine off because we're gonna do the rest now inside let's do the window up as well I uh, like the steering wheel adjustment it goes really far up which is nice especially for fat people like me and uh, yeah, so this is the inside of the truck. Let's go get a different angle. Okay, so this is what the truck looks like from the passenger seat. I am actually standing on the passenger seat at the moment, just, <laughs> just to get as much as I can in. But if I actually go on the floor, and I can show you just how much headroom I got. So I am six foot three. <laughs> Loads of room, you can jump and uh, not hit the roof. My torch just fell out my pocket. Ugh. Like, you can jump, 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 and you just don't hit the roof. It's uh, really high, which is awesome. So you get your cupboards, they fling open quite easy as well. Ooh you got a nice table in here if you wanted to use a lap table. There is also another one over there, which I'll show you in a sec. So they all close. This one as well. So yeah, nice, decent sized cubbies. This particular model has got this net here which if i'm honest i don't like i'm going to assume it can come with um cupboards on the back because that i don't like that personally i guess it, yeah it can come off look you can undo those screws there take it off there take the hinges off so you could take that off uh but to be honest i have used it for storage i put my bedding on it you've probably seen it in the vlogs um 
but yeah, I wouldn't have it otherwise. I'd, I'd normally have like cupboards, preferably. And then this is the bunk. So nice, decent sized bunk. You've got a 24 volt outlet over there. And then you've also got this control panel. So you can turn the radio on, open the windows, turn the lights off and on. There we go. So if we want just the orange lights on, we can. Very nice. Uh, or if we're led down, we can just do that. Turn the lights off. It's dark. Or if we want to turn the lights on maximum again. There we go. Those orange lights are awesome. I like them. They are awesome. Very nice. Of course, we've got a little switch there as well. So if we want to turn just a little a night light on, we can. It is nice to have this uh, handle right here because on my DAF, it's on the door side and it's really hard if you want to move this forward to give you a little bit of extra room to breathe. So you can do that, seat goes forward, and you've got plenty of room, lovely jubbly. One of the really cool things is you've got your mirror cameras there or the displays there. If you want to close the curtain at night, at first you're like, why does it do that? But let me just show you. So if you close the curtain, bring it around like that, keep bringing it around, and you'll see there's like a little gap there. And you're like, at first you're like, what the hell? What's that there for? I'll tell you what it's there for. It's to put around, it's to put around the display. So you do that, nobody can see in, but you can still see the display. Why would you want to see the display? I hear you ask. Okay, so you're laying down, you're in bed, you're chilling out, but you hear a noise outside, your curtains are closed, what do you do? Do you twitch your curtains? No, you press that button. What that button does is turn on the cameras. No one outside will know that you're watching, but you are watching. And uh, it's pretty cool, actually, to be honest with you. So I like that. It's like you're spying on someone, but they don't know it. I mean, this particular model comes with a camera here as well, so I guess you can turn that on. No, you can't turn that on because there's no uh, there's no power. But you got that one, so pretty handy. Does it turn off if you press it again? No, okay. So in that case, you've got to wait a, f a few minutes. I think it's like a minute or two, and then they turn back off again. So, uh, yeah, it would be nice if you press that again and it turned them off, but it doesn't. But it is handy. It, I love these orange lights. Have I told you I like these orange lights? <laughs> Anyway, that's pretty much it for the truck. There's not really a lot else I can show you. I mean, there's cupboards down here and there's 24 volt outlets and, and stuff. What's that? Oh, it's just a port for your phone. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, it's a lovely truck. I do like this truck. Um, it's awesome. Maybe one day I'll have one. Who knows? Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to check out my merchandise. Link is in the description down below. And uh, go buy yourself a hoodie. Let's get crack a lack in, or we can have a... Uh, Tachograph symbol hoodie, they're like massive popular ones at the moment, or uh, we've had bigger down there drive as, as well as many others. Go and have a little look. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully, you've enjoyed the little capital. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye bye.